Formation of the components of our teeth takes place as a series of planned events. Amylogenesis is the formation of enamel of teeth after the first layer of dentine has been laid down during dentinogenesis. The biological concept of reciprocal induction governs these stages of tooth development where the differentiating ameloblasts and odontoblasts receive signals from each other for the process to continue. Amylogenesis is considered to be divided into three main stages. These stages are the inductive or pre-secretory stage, the secretory stage, and the maturation stage or the post-secretory stage. The pre-secretory phase involves the differentiation of the ameloblasts to get prepared to lay down an organic matrix. The secretory phase includes the formation and the partial mineralization of this matrix and finally the last stage is the maturation of enamel along with the formation of the nascent membrane disturbances in any of these stages can lead to the development of a complex group of disorders known as amylogenesis imperfecta developmental disturbances in teeth can result in abnormalities in the size shape number structure and eruption pattern today we will be studying an abnormality in the structure of teeth known as amylogenesis imperfecta it refers to a clinically and genetically heterogeneous group of disorders that affects enamel formation in both dentitions a complex inheritance pattern gives rise to structural defects in the enamel causing this defect to arise Based on the stage of enamel formation that is affected and the clinical presentations of the defects it is broadly classified as the hypoplastic or type 1 hypocalcified or type 3 and also hypomaturation or type 2 several subtypes of these categories are also recognized based on the inheritance patterns and clinical appearances the prevalence pattern of these types is hypoplastic followed by hypomaturation followed by hypocalcified Molecular genetic studies have shown that the etiology of amylogenesis imperfecta is related to the mutations in the various genes involved in enamel formation. Genes such as amylogenin, enamelin, calicrine, and MMP20 are involved in the formation and maturation of enamel, and mutations in these genes cause the various types of this abnormality. The hereditary patterns tend to range from autosomal dominant or recessive to X-linked dominant or recessive. Most cases are in inherited as an autosomal dominant trait with mutations in the enamelin gene being responsible for the phenotypic changes. The X-linked inherited anomaly manifests differently in males and females with males having a thin and smooth enamel layer and the females having a thicker enamel. Along with the thicker enamel, females may also have vertical grooves as a result of X chromosome inactivation. This inactivation of the X chromosome is known as lionization. Radiographically, the overall shape of the tooth may or may not be normal depending on the amount of enamel present and the incisal and occlusal wear. Enamel appears reduced in bulk, often showing as a thin layer over occlusal and interproximal surfaces. Dentine and pulp chambers appear normal. In certain cases the calcification of the enamel may be affected such that it may have the same approximate radio density as dentine thus making differentiation between the two difficult as we have studied before the histologic features of enamel also parallel the type of amylogenesis imperfecta that is diagnosed in the hypoplastic type or type 1 there is disturbance in the differentiation of ameloblasts thus teeth erupt with insufficient amount of enamel This leads to presence of grooves and brown pinpoint or pinhead type pits to even complete absence of matrix in some patients. The interproximal contact is also lost, leading to a typical picket fence like appearance. In the hypocalcified type or type 3, the quantity of enamel is normal. However, there are defects in the matrix structure and mineral deposition. This leads to soft and friable enamel which fractures quite easily. The color of the tooth also tends to vary from white opaque to yellow to brown. That's why amylogenesis imperfecta is also known as hereditary brown opalescent teeth or hereditary brown enamel. Finally, in the hypomaturative type or type 2, there are alterations in the enamel rod and rod sheath structures. This affects the quality of the enamel and it can even be chipped off using dental instruments. 
Simple procedures like scaling can also lead to complete enamel chipping in these cases. There's a type 4 amelogenesis imperfecta as well, known as hypermaturation hypoplastic with torodontism. It is further classified into type 4a and type 4b. Both of these types are autosomal dominant inherited. Although there is no such treatment involved, the patient's self-esteem can be lifted by focusing on the aesthetics and protection of the tooth tissues. Aesthetic treatment can include veneers or root canal treatment. The patient should also be instructed to not use too much masticatory force. Before you get started with another topic, don't forget to revise. The best way to do so is using a mind map. If you want to access such mind maps for free, log into our website and mobile app and enjoy revising. If you're stuck with me till now, I'm sure you enjoyed the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. It makes up for all the time and effort we put into make concepts so simple and easy for you. Hoping to see you in the next one. And until then, on your marks, medi, study, go.